Welcome back, my dear students. Now the class is about the uh, law of diminishing utility. Law of diminishing utility. It means that the utility will go up. The profits will go up in simple words. The profits will go up till it reaches the top. Then it goes, start to go down. Uh, we'll have the total production and we will have the uh, marginal production and we'll have the average production based on what we said before, or this can be considered as independent lecture. So it doesn't mean that you have to uh, previously see another video before this so that you will know, you will understand it, all of it. So let, let's say now, let's go to it and see what do we mean by the law of diminishing utility. So if I put the, uh, share the screen, let me share the screen for you guys. Yeah. So if we have an example like this, he won't give me all this. He will give me the capital labor total production, the three columns then I will get the average production and the marginal production, and I will comment on the results. Now, in simple words, let me tell you something. If I have the capital and the capital is fixed, I'm talking about the law of diminishing utility, law of diminishing utility. Capital is fixed, so it's, it's going to stand the same. 100, 100, 100, 100, till the end of the uh, table. Okay. But actually what happened, we increased in the labors. The labors were zero labors, labors then become one labor, two labors, till they reach to 10 labors, from one to 10 or from zero to 10. Then total production will be given for you in the example. So zero, uh, six, uh, 16, 29, 44, 55, 60, 62, 60, two again, 61, 59. So this is what we call the total production, right? So how about the average production? This I will deduct because here I will say, I want the calculate the average production and the marginal production. That's what we will do in this example. It's only two columns is the added value of us. What we will do are two columns only, but the first three columns will be given in the example. So I will do the average production. Average means what? The total production divided by the number of labors. As example, let's say, let's say the total production here is zero, is six here, six, six divided by one will give me six. 16 divided by two will give me eight. 29 divided by three will give me 9.67. This I call it the average production, the average production. Then 44 divided by four will give me 11. Then 55 divided by five will give me 11 as well. Then 60 divided by six will give me 10. Now I'm calculating the average production. Then 62 divided by seven will give me this number, 8.86. Then look at this, 62 divided by eight will give me 7.75. 61 divided by nine will give me 6.78. And finally, 50, 59 divided by 10 it will give me 5.9. Perfect. This is the average. Now we count the column of the average. How about the marginal production? This one. How about the marginal production? How we will get the marginal production column? Uh, or the numbers of the marginal production? Uh, to be honest with you, we said this before, the word margin means what will happen in the total? What will happen to the total? If I add one more unit. So it is the change in the total or by simple words, it is the difference in the numbers. So for the first one, I don't have the preceding one. The preceding one, I don't have it. 
So this is not a problem. I will just put a hyphen here. Okay. How about this? From where does six come? It's six minus zero. It will give me six. Six. Okay. Total production. Six, sorry. Minus zero. It will give me six. Let's go for this for the end for, till the end. 16 minus 6, it will give me 10. Like you see here. Hmm. Go ahead. Uh, 29 minus 16 will give me 13. 44 minus 29 will give me 15. 55 minus 44 is 44. 55 minus 44 will give me 11. And this is not the first time for us to count the marginal. So the marginal is the difference in the total, the, the difference between the total number which you are standing on and the one before. It will give you the marginal, right? It will give you the marginal. So as example, let's go for the other. 60 minus 55 will give me five. 62 minus 60 minus 60 will give me two. And so on. 62 minus 62 here will give me zero. And 61 minus 62, this 62 there, oh, come on, 62, then this will give me minus one, like you see here. The number minus the number preceding it will give me the margin. So the marginal, any margin will equal the number minus the number which preceded. Then 59, 59, uh, minus 61 will give me minus two. Now I want you to check the behave, what happened in this table. In this table, what we see now that the total production increased from zero, the total production 6, 16, 29, it's increasing to a limit when or after the marginal becomes minus, it is start to decrease. I will show you something here. Total is increasing, okay? The total is increasing. So let me say as example, let me say as example, uh, So I just want you to um, pay attention to the numbers which I will, uh, or the graph which I will draw on this board now for the three stages of the production which we had here, like from the tables numbers which we discussed, uh, we will see how was the behave of the numbers and how is the behave of the uh, total production, uh, total F and the average production and the marginal production. Let's say, as example, uh, this is, we'll make this draw like this, graph. And we'll say here are the total and the average and marginal production. So this vertical line is representing the total and the average and the marginal production. What happened is we have three phases based on this numbers. So for the total production, if you see the numbers, you will find that the numbers is increased, increased. Let's go back to the numbers and see. For the numbers of the total production, let me share the screen and show you.
look at the total production here this at the total production here the total this one Check the numbers zero, then become six, then become 16, then become 29, then become 44, 55, and it's going on, 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 on till 62. Then on 62, the marginal is zero. Then after this, after the peak, it starts to slow down back. So 61, 59, that means it goes down back. So by the meaning of this, by meaning of this, if I will say, this is the total production, this is the total production. The total production came into a point where it started to decline, but the slope is very soft. It's not a sharp slope. It's not accurate or sharp slope. It's very soft. This is where the marginal cost or marginal production will be zero. Okay, I have also two curves. If you watch out, they find that the average costs also started great or enlarging or growing the average cost. Let us see back. I will share the screen back and we will see. Look at the average cost here. The average production or the average cost, 9, 8, 9, 67, 11, 11. Then here, it started to go down back. It started to go down where the marginal productions equals the average production. Here is the marginal and here is the average. They both, when they are both the same, it started from this point now the average will start to go down from 11 where the numbers two numbers are equal the average and the marginal then after that it will start to decline back 10 8.86 7 point so but wait a minute wait a minute the slope of the margin of the uh, average production is not sharp the slope is not sharp for that reason, if we will represent the slope or the average of the average production on the graph here, the slope of the average production, it will be like, uh, you can say, it will be like, like not very hard, like it's like this, we say this is the average production, the average production. This is the average production. So the slope of it is soft as well. Now let's go to the third one, which is the marginal production. Let's see the behave of the marginal production, how it looks like, how the behave of the marginal production looks like. We'll share the screen back to see the numbers of the example. Yeah, okay. So here is the marginal. It starts with 6, 10, 13, 15, means it's increasing too. It is also increasing. And it is more than the average. So I expect that the curve of the marginal will be over the curve of the average because it's more. Look at this. Here the average is 6. They are both 6. Here eight, then here is 10. So the marginal is larger than the average. 13, 9.60, 15, here is 11. 11, this, both of them are the same here. So, so at this point, they will intersect. When they are uh, the same numbers, they will intersect. But I, what I want to say is the marginal numbers in this phase is greater than the average. So, the marginal will be overlapping or it will be over the average curve. That's how it looks like. Let's see. Here we go. The marginal, the marginal here. It will start like this way. Then it starts to decline like, 
it starts to decline. But what is the behave of the declination? Look at the marginal. When it start to fall down, like you see here, when it start to fall down the marginal, uh, it is from 11, it went down to five. So it's very sharp. So now, if I want to make the marginal, the marginal, it will go also increase, then it will go down, but it will be severe, like it will be a sharp marginal. Also, we have three phases for the law of diminishing utility. In first phase, all of them together, like what you see, increasing, increasing utility. So all of them in this phase or in this area, they have increasing utility. Then start the utility here to diminish or become lower or start to be decreasing utility is decreasing then the third thing is the negative negative utility the third stage is the negative utility so as you see we have three uh, periods and yes so even on this line here is the end of the period of the decreasing when the marginal equals the average when the marginal equals the average so in this point the decreasing utility stage is done then now we will start in the negative utility what is the negative negative utility like you see here means because we have here negative utilities let me share the screen back and show you this now we draw it so it's okay let's comment on this and know why what's the reason for what's happening what's the reason why it increased then it's why it decreased back we have to know why it increased then why it decreased back so as example in all of them if you see the total and the average and the marginal all are increasing 16 8 10 29 9 the 8 become 9 and the 10 become 13 the 6 here become 10 the 6 here become 8 so all the three curves like you see here on the board all of them are increasing then at a certain point at a certain point like the certain point which we said here when the uh the intersect of the marginal with the average where they intersect both this point then in this point when they are they will be the diminishing means they will start to decrease because here all are increasing then they will start the three to decrease look at 11 1155 so here uh, the marginal and the average the 11 become five and the 11 become 60. watch out that they still the total production is increasing but also it will come to a limit that it will decrease later on look at this because the total production here 55, 60, 62, 60, then here, see, look, look, 61, then 59. I'm talking about the total. I'm talking about the total. So the total alone is the one who went like we saw, we, you saw in the graph here. I will show you the graph again. So the total, though the marginal and the average decreasing, but the total is still increasing on this phase. It's still increasing, it's still increasing, right? Okay, but it will come to the top of increasing after this it will slow down and it will means also like you see here again let us go back to the uh, uh to the graph and see but 60 62 62 let's see then becomes 61 for that reason when i draw it the total here i draw that the slope is very slow down is not so much the slope of the total production. Though it is regretting, it's going down, but it's not going that severe or that sharp. Then it becomes 59. So back we will say all of them, the total production, the average production, 
the marginal production, all of them were increasing to a limit, to one limit, which is with the limit of what? When the marginal production become equals to the average production. On these numbers, or on the intersect of those two of them, both of the marginal and the average will start to decrease. The 11 become five, and the 11 become here 10, and the five become two. But wait a minute. The marginal production declination is going very sharp from 11 to five. That's why when we present it here on the graph, the marginal cute or uh, severe or sharp uh, drop. You see the curve or the blue curve drop very, very severe. But though the marginal in black is going down, but it's going now get down in a soft way. The sharp of the regression is not so much. Or the sharp of the declination is not much. So it's going like slow, like slow drop. So you can see this from the numbers, the marginal from 11 to five. Look at this so much from 11 to five and from five to two. But when you see here, the average is going from 11 to 10 only. So the slope is slow, soft, it's not much. It's not cute like this or not severe or not sharp like this. It's like, yeah. so till a point now, now after the, 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 the marginal trail into the, the, the horizontal axis, then it will go into minus, into minus. And this is, we call it the stage of negative utility. Like you see here, I put for you the phases here. When it's increasing, 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 because they increasing, 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 all increasing, wait a minute. Then when we become both of them, the marginal and the average are the same, look at this, the marginal and the average are the same, start to diminish, diminish, diminish. Okay, diminish, diminish, right? Okay, now when the marginal become negative, when the marginal, those till the average, the average is still positive, but as soon as the marginal becomes negative, then this is the negative utility phase. We call it the negative utility phase because it becomes negative here, as you see. What are the reasons for what is going on? What are the reasons for why, in general, all of them, even the total production started then declined and at the end it, it's 59 after it was like it went to the peak, like 60 or 62, the peak, then it went down back. Why did the average production started with six and went till it become 5.90? Why the marginal started with six and increase, increase, then decrease, and it become finally or eventually it became negative? What is the reason for this behavior of the three numbers of the total production and the average production and the marginal reduction? This is what we call low diminishing utility, low diminishing. Diminishing means it's going down, it's going down. What is the reason for it's going down actually? It's a very, very simple reason. Look for the capital, if the capital or if your tools or if your uh, equipment, as example, you are using machines or whatever are fixed, they don't change, the quantity is the same. And if you are in the start itself, there will be profits and the profits will be increasing. And your total production will be increasing. But it will come to a limit because you are adding now more labors. You are adding more labors. The zero become one for the labors. So you are paying more wages. You are making more costs. And though you still have the same capital. So the costs are increasing, like what you see. This is costs. Labor is what? Wages, it means costs. So when the costs are increasing, with the same revenues, without increasing in the sales volume or whatever, what are you expecting? That your profits and your 
production limits will go down. And this is what happened here. For that reason, we say always, you can sum up the law of uh, diminishing utility in these three areas, which I draw on the graph. And I put for you the sum up here on these three uh, stages. The first stage is very productive. That's what we did. The second stage is here, like what you see here. No, it is diminishing, means prices are going down. Till we reach to the point where the marginal productions will equal the average production, that time after this, the marginal will be negative. Like here, the marginal will be negative. The marginal utility, this is the marginal utility or marginal production became negative. So here we say it is the negative returns. And like I put it for you here also, it's the negative returns. And the reason, the reason that you fixed the, your capital, you fixed your machinery, you fixed your equipment, but you add more labors. In the short run, this will give you a production. Will give the, your production will start increasing, then it will come to a limit after this. It will affect on your profits. And then you, your production, well, either total or marginal or average, they will start to diminish down. That's why they call it law of diminishing utility. Um, remember, the time when this becomes uh, negative, I just want you to, rem to remember, that means you are in the negative utility now. It's not preferred for you to work or to produce. Uh, shall I leave you in peace? And thank you so much for listening to me. This is Dr. Osama Kashwa. Thank you so much. And I wish you a very good day for everyone. Thank you.